Whoa, 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 wait, hold it. No, 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 get rid of that. Stop a second. What's happened to my doormats? What have you done? What have you done to my doormats? Why are they like... What? <laughs> We're never real in the first place. My God. What are we doing? Oh, RimWorld. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Advent time here in RimWorld, little Rim Rims. And as per usual, much to my chagrin, I take the most voted comment from the comment section of last episode, and I put it in the Advent calendar. And who could have predicted this? As of time of recording, it is very, very close between two mods. But the winner is... Vanilla Psychos expanded. I should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming. It was this or the other very, very good uh, suggestion to use the quarry mod and limit it to giving candy cane and gingerbread. But why go for that original idea when we can play with a mod I've played 20 times over the last year? Thank you. Appreciate that. But to keep things interesting, we're going to put a little spin on it. And we're going to say that the elves can only use psi powers that are thematically appropriate. Ice and frost and such things. No elves launching fireballs at Santa. Though it would be quite funny. Yesterday, through some daring, some cutting, and some, quite frankly, well-laid genius plans, we managed to capture a high-ranking member of Santa's empire. One of Santa's many workshop managers. And now we have to decide what to do with her. Now, someone pointed out that we could contact our Imperial friends, and there is an item that might be able to help us out. In the dessert technology section of our console, there is a very fancy device, which is a big old needle you can stab into the brain of a noble and download all of their memories. You suck it out from their brain like a big bendy straw. <laughs> But here's the thing, of course, we are supposed to be the morally good guys. We're supposed to be the upstanding, kind people saving this planet. Our elves are kind. That's how Santa made them. But we do have baseliners. Oh, we also can't do absolutely anything else with this person. I can't recruit them. I can't release them. They're unwaveringly loyal. If we release them, they'll just tell Santa where we are. Sorry, who's getting married? Sorry, I just missed that. Stuffing and uh, gumdrop. Stuffing and gumdrop. Well, I mean, I guess you are called stuffing. <laughs> Here's my problem, right? Or at least one of many. We've got a big frozen river under the base. I want to rebuild the inside of the base so they can live a much nicer life. I'm not sure if after I build a luxury base here, it's going to just sink into the river when summer comes. Observed corpse, we're in the middle of war. What do you expect? What's wrong with you? Recreation deprived, rebuffed by gumdrop. She's getting married, damn you. These people are going to ruin Christmas. Slept in the heat. It's minus 17 outside and you're complaining it was warm? Right, let's put down an ideology room. We need to sort some of these ranks out. We need to come up with a, a structure for our people. So, begin a role change. Uh, General uh, General Sparkles should be in charge. Can we not make you like the first? Oh, you already are. Um, Fine. You. Okay, not you. Who can be our third? Gumdrop seems seems ready and able and prepared for combat. You're going to be our third. Bear in mind all the Triumvirs have the same... They're, they're the same rank, okay? We're a republic. We believe in power for the people. This isn't a dictatorship like damn Sansa. Oh, shit. Level 12 social from gaining a rank. You're welcome. Gumdrop can give that valuable human perspective because you've got to remember the baseline is the ones being brainwashed by Santa too. Look at those cities out there. Apparently, we had a role called High Stellark, which, of course, I've, I've rectified. There are no High Stellarks here, okay? We're all even. Except three of us, which are far more even than everyone else. <laughs> okay, Gumdrop gets to be Cleric. Okay, there you go. Problem solved. And then Buttercup can be... Buttercup was basically the first person we captured, right? So Buttercup gets to be third in charge? This doesn't make any sense. We're a terrible republic. Oh, you're joking. This is a battlefield! Gumdrop? More like Gumdrop. You morons. Oh, shit. The river started to defrost. Right, well, I guess I've answered that question then. Or more specifically, because I built a campfire in there, it defrosted the river and then the walls collapsed. And then General Cozy gets to be second in command and then everything is fine. Equally second. <laughs> Are you good? Are you all going to shut up now and be happy and, and, and healthy and fine? Diverse thoughts. That doesn't seem particularly... Oh, is it because someone believes in Santa? No, it's because that guy that we rescued yesterday believes in the old Imperial ways. I suppose the point is we're anti-Imperial in every way, right? And now we've just picked up another Imperial guy. It doesn't matter whether it's Santa or the Stellark. They're all a problem. This is a fever dream. Methodius is wondering where the hell his life went wrong. And masterful. Okay, okay, you know what? I'll take it. Gotta solve a few fundamental issues here. Uh, number one, we need somewhere to store everything because this is getting very annoying there you go plenty of room look at that and all of this is all, all already flawed very convenient and this is about the part where i say oh turn into a recreation room except we've got we've got nothing we've got absolutely nothing oh, i could have built a hot spring oh shit if only someone gave me a quarry and not psi powers never mind five-year-old child named annabeth is bruh <laughs> 
<laughs> the five-year-old Grinch is calling for help. I mean, what sort of person would I be if I said no? I don't really want to take on a five-year-old child. This is not the right home for a five-year-old child, but if they've got nowhere else, it's better than nothing. Oh, God. Hello? How are you doing? Wasn't part of the plan. The, Gr the Grinch is a man in black style event, as in if our people would go down, then the Grinch would have turned up. It would have been awesome. Instead, it's a Grinch child. I need you to understand that when I made this xenotype, I was very carefully following the Dr. Zeus Grinch wiki. All of this is Grinch canon and above board. The Grinch is described as, quote, having the strength of 47 Grinchmen. Uh, the Grinch is apparently also a, quote, skilled craftsman and engineer having built many contraptions. And that is why the Grinch has great crafting and great melee and strong melee damage, etc, etc. Really good use of one of the doors on the calendar. And now you're a tiny child. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Um, General Sparkles, congratulations. You've got a ward. And it could be an amazing story element. General Sparkles raises this Grinch as his own child, gets gunned down in combat, and then the Grinch leads the charge against Santa. Could be amazing. Oh, what did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off at school? <laughs> Geothermal power. Holy shit. Forget about the hot spring. We've got something much better. Um, I can't believe you've done this. We need to rescue. Oh! What happened to the child? What are you doing? Go indoors! Oh, Christ. Okay. Oh, that's a great start for the cringe. <laughs> right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's throw down some actual bloody crafting stations. Uh, can we, do we have enough resources for this? No? No steel. And no way for me to get steel. I think we're going to need deep drilling, aren't we? I think that's inevitable. Go on, then. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> what I was about to say is uh, we need to borrow some steel, right? We've got to get the power grid sorted. There's no point having empty batteries when we could repurpose the steel components to actually try and solve the grid. What we could do with is a backup hydroponics research. I'm going to take our hydroponics apart. So uh, give me that. Ooh. Hello. If we can get the electric smelter going, we'll be set. Oh, yeah, we've got enough resources for it. The question is, do we have enough power for the bloody thing? It's 21 steel slag chunks. It'll pay for itself. You just got to believe. Oh, okay, the power's already gone. Fuck. <laughs> good, good. Okay, get rid of this. Build a fuel stove. Get rid of this. I guess we'll just put a window in. Auto doors can go. We don't have the power for that, so you can go in the bin. Mad has. Mad has. One mad hair. Oh, the Grinch child. Why has the game got it in for this tiny Grinch child? She can't even outrun them because she's covered in frostbite. Oh, God. She's missing all of her little toesies. She's going to get savaged by hairs. No. 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 Someone save her. This is inhuman. Come on. Please, please save her life. No. <laughs> I can't do anything. <sighs> you son of a bitch. Smash that goddamn hair. Smash that hair. You start tending to her immediately. Hold on, cryolize. Wait. Stops the bleed out right. Big brain time. Oh, yes, it is big brain time. Get cryolized, stupid. Get tended. You're fine. I big brain. Bleeding out in 21 hours. Say if I was this child, I would I would do a 360. I would walk away. I would I would leave these people. What are you saying? A group of hungry insects have appeared. Oh, for fuck's sake, piss off. They could smell the Grinch child. Get over here. Defend us. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sparkles. Yeah, start firing. Start firing. I trust the squad. Bauble, get in there. Bauble's an incredible melee character. 20 melee. I've given them the Zeus hammer and a shield. You will never get this. Methodius, run. I hate Grinch child. I hate Grinch child. Just be careful with that grenade launcher, eh? Just be careful with that grenade launcher. Okay, everything's fine. The, the, the Empire is not our, our worst enemy anymore. It's nature. Nature itself hates us. It must be working with Santa. Get rid of the refrigerator. We'll just put the food out in the snow. Get rid of that shit. Get rid of the stove. Forget it. We're going a bit more rustic. What's wrong with you? Why are you smashing up the bedroom? What's wrong with you? Why, why are you crying? Ravenously hungry. I'm sorry that we had to do a, a slight detour from hunting because a child was being killed. You monster. Uh, there's not actually that much to eat. Try and hunt a cougar. Try and hunt a grizzly bear. <laughs> I'm sure this won't end badly. Uh, what we could do is... Oh, shit. Did that wall collapse? No, we're fine. What we could do is, is defrost some water. 
like build over the river, try and encase it, and then uh, and then defrost it, and then fish in the river. Like this is on the river. So if I uh, and this is using walls that are like on on steel bridges. You can see them there. So if we put a roof over this and put a campfire over there, shut the damn windows, set up a nice Christmas fishery. This is big brain time. That I wouldn't have to go out there and fist fight a grizzly bear for lunch. You you smashed your own bed. You smash your own bed. I've used the expression, you've made your bed now lie in it very frequently. This is the moment. Joy sleeping on the floor. Because I'm not rebuilding that. You've lost bed privileges. I cannot get a break. I cannot get a break. To be fair, this is the first raid we've had today. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm pleased about the rest of the situations that have occurred. This is someone called Troublesome who's turned up with a goddamn grenade launcher. Oh, by the way, I fixed the names list. Now our base can get firebombed by someone called Snowflake. That'll make me feel a lot better when, when Muffin shoots a child. Defend your home. Don't let, it, don't let them take your home like this. Let's put this star fort to good use, goddammit. Get over here. Oh my god. I didn't even have time to line everyone up. You're already killing them dead. Okay, you four come this way. You four come this way. You take the star fort there. Where are they going? Right, I'm seeing an issue with the star fort. The issue is it takes us about as long to get there as it does for the enemies to get there. Critical alert fire. That's not what you want to see. Oh! Moron! Damn, actually, to be fair, though, kind of working. Kind of working. Oh, kind of working. Grizzly best self tamed. <laughs> oh, God. That was unexpected, but I'm a big fan of this. I can't even find the animal tag. Have Giddy up. Please tell me. Please tell me we can ride the... <laughs> what's Santa's pet? A reindeer. And what's the natural predator of the reindeer? That's right. Elf on a grizzly bear. I don't know where I was going with that. Nice Molotov. What are you Molotov these nuts? How about that? How about that? You should have bought, bought a bigger hammer. Boom. Die. Boil and die. Sorry, I mean... We're doing this to defend our home. I'm not taking any joy in killing these people because that would be uh, that would be what villains do. <laughs> okay, a mild amount of relief. A mild amount of relief in the fact that we are defending our home. Uh, it's, uh, it's bigger defending our home. Please put out the fire. Please put out the fire. Please fast. Go put out that fire. Oh, God. It's a minor concern. It's a minor concern. It's a very, very minor concern. We go for the fishing hut. What are you doing over there? You leave that alone. I'm not going to allow my base to be burned down by someone called Tinsel Toes. Bauble, introduce them to your Christmas hammer. I mean, it's just a regular hammer, but okay. I don't like this grenade launcher. I'm, I'm, I don't like the grenade launcher at all. It's more likely to get our people... I see medicine. What a gift. More likely to get our people killed than anything else. I'm just not sure what idiot thought putting the grenade launcher and the melee character in a squad together would work. Fibrous mechanized. What are you doing? I mean, in theory, they're good, presuming everything else is going fine. That's some news for you. Things are not going... Things are not going fine. Things are going far from fine. Are you still here? You just fired a grenade at my grizzly bear. No. No. Another fire? What are you doing to me? Oh, luckily, it was in the one building not made of wood. That was bloody coincidental. Thank you. I'll take that. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? There was a person there, and now they're not. I can hear the ghosts of their screams. How is this person not dead? Bauble, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go fist fight them. They've got a grenade launch. What are they going to do? Shoot themselves? I doubt it. Oh, no. This is the end of Methodius, isn't it? <laughs> it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Did you just punch them to death? God damn. Credit. Hey, we've got another grenade launcher, for better or worse. Not going to be able to save Crash, I'm afraid. They weren't amazing. Sorry, Cannibal and Insatiable. I don't feel so bad about not saving you now. It was a whole different definition to eating ass. Part of my base has sunk into the river again. This isn't even the river. This is just a puddle. <laughs> it's a nightmare. We can only do base building during the summer because by, by the time it rolls around, it's going to all sink. All right, next up. Okay, this is going to be the crafting room. Next thing we need is a hospital. Because things are not going quite as smoothly as one might anticipate. I think having this kind of HQ, we've got the intel scraper. We can have some meetings in there. We've got the research room. We can, we can attach the hospital. Oh, careful there. We can, <laughs> we can attach the hospital to that, no problem. Damn, okay. Random conversion event there has dropped the Thodius' certainty from 18% to 8.7. Not bad. I certainly didn't forget. No, no, no. Now we can just go kapow. Look at this. And bazinga. Welcome to the Anti-Christmas League. So that, I should really rephrase that. That's Anti-Santa League, not Anti-Christmas. We're very much on brand with Christmas. Love Christmas, 
Hate Santa. That's that's the MO. Look at all this extra steel slag we're getting. I've told them to take apart all of this crap that's just out here. That leads to more steel slag. It's the best we can do for getting resources. Sight appeared to harass Annabeth, EMI Dynamo. Annabeth has admitted what she's fleeing from. She was traveling when she happened upon Mrs. Claus, leader of Santa's helpers sick at the side of the road. Annabeth insulted Mrs. Claus by comparing her to an ape. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now Mrs. Claus's elves are activating a site to harass you. She set up three man hunting Arctic foxes, which presumably the elves trained to defend that EMI dynamo. You telling me we've got a permanent solar flare effect? Because the elf caught Mrs. Claus. Oh, sorry. Because the Grinch caught Mrs. Claus an ape. You were a horrible piece of shit. And you know what? I'm glad those hairs almost killed you dead. To be fair, that is big Grinch energy. Calling Santa's wife an ape. I, 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 it just seems so on brand for a character. I really can't argue with it. We're going to have to send, I think, the generals. They're the only ones I trust to, to do this. Take the bear. No. Here's the idea. Send General Cozy. No. Send General Sparkles. Riding the bear. <laughs> Hello there, fuckers. Oh, what are you doing? Hunting Arctic Fox. My boy. My boy. What a legend. Okay, okay. Careful, though. Careful, though. Sparkles. Sparkles. Grizzly bear. Save us. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Melee attack. You're fine. You're fine. It's just a bunch of foxes. It's a bunch of foxes, and you are an elf legend. You are an elf legend. You can win this. The bear. The bear is coming back. Oh, what a guy. These two are such a dream team. Kapow. Kapow. What a combo. What do you mean colonist needs... Are you joking? You just got beat up by a rat? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Uh, is, this, is this intentional behavior? Because it sure as hell seems like it. What are you doing, you moron? Ugh. Shit. 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 That's not my fault. That's not my... You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Not a problem. Hey, are you ready to go, Mr. Bear? Oh, took some damage there from fighting the foxes. Let's get you patched up. Santa's helpers raid. Are you... This is this is unbelievable. Oh, is that it? Just three of them? Oh, that's fine. Gooba, Giggles, and Polar. I appreciate you going slightly easy on me. The base is sinking into the river. The base is sinking into the river. Here we go. Here we go. Premium star fort moments. Premi premium star fort moments. You watch this shit. You watch this. This is going to be incredible. Bauble, go out there and start beating them. Put the child down. Christmas Carol has given up because they are recreation starved. I'm sorry that this is difficult, Christmas Carol. Like, okay, memes aside, we can't let Christmas Carol leave because Christmas Carol is our only good builder. Let's get you uh, let's get you nicely arrested, shuffled away. Okay, I get it. You're under a lot of stress. Just bear with us. Get him. Get him. Fuck him up. Look at the star fort working perfectly. Look at my star fort working perfectly. Why, thank you. You better move over there fast, otherwise you're going to lose vision. You better move over there fast, otherwise you're going to lose vision. Luckily, there's a big hole in the wall here, so we haven't got to worry so much about our firing arcs. <laughs> How's Sparkles doing? Sparkles, sorry. Let's get you home, my friend. I, I completely forgot about you there. There's a lot going on, okay? Here you go. Maybe the EMI Dynamo was some very clever distraction from Mrs. Claus. These battle elves are ridiculous. That guy just tanked two grenade launcher shots and just kept moving forward. Frightening. Like, actually horrifying. Okay, okay. Give him a wide berth. Give him a wide berth. Ah, oh, that's not a wide berth. That's, a, that's the opposite of a wide berth. That's a narrow berth. I can't believe you've done this. I cannot believe you've done this. Gumdrop. Gumdrop. We've barely even started, Gumdrop. Not like this. To Intel. Oh, that's nice. These elves are insane. These battle elves are insane. Oh, Gumdrop. Oh, sweet Gumdrop. I'm so sorry it happened like this. Gumdrop was Perganant. Gumdrop was Perganant. Double kill. It would have been a problem if half my star fort hadn't sunk into the river. Because then we could have actually seen them without having a massively exposed side. Ridiculous game. Captured deserter. What do you call it when they desert the deserters? Does it, or does it cancel out here? You can go now. You can go because you're still part of our faction. Release. Thank you. Really annoying that you uh, decided to give up on us when we needed you the most, but that's okay. The river. Oh, God. The river's coming back. Chunk by chunk, the river's coming back. Okay. Let's see how much of my base sinks then. This has been very, very difficult, but I think we've just got an enormous breakthrough. With this much steel, I can finally build the geothermal generator. And with that, we can build some bloody work facilities. You are a five-year-old! What do you mean Annabeth is binging on alcohol? Okay, it looks as if a lot of negatives happened today. We lost Gumdrop, which is terrible. We, we the, the Grinch child has been repeatedly slapped down over and over and over, but there is some massive positives. We've got the power grid, which is amazing, right? And now, kapow. 
Microelectronics. That's amazing. This means we've got enough intel to to needle needle their head. Oh, sorry, are you feeding them elf? This is monstrous. We're supposed to be the good guys. I I, I don't know how to tell you this. Please don't feed people corpses. And I realized we didn't start with a trade beacon. So we slapped down a few of those fast, very quickly, very quickly now. Then we spend the five intel on a declassifier purchase. There you go. Boom. Can we finish hydroponics research? Oh, I wasn't expecting that, but I love it. Okay, that's amazing. I, I don't think we've got the resources to do much with it. We do have the power now, though. Look at this. Oh, I can build at least one. I can build at least one. We need a hydroponics facility. You know what? I'm going to build some up here in what was going to be the hospital. I'm sure we can slap down four and not have to worry about it. If we just have rice, that's so much less hunting we have to worry about. Because there's barely anything left to hunt. There it is, our dead drop. Hello. Uh, it, we need to go over to here to collect our... Are you joking? Are you joking to collect our declassifier? Okay, I've got a job for the Grizzly Bear and General Sparkles. Hey, and blowback operation, my god. It's almost like having a dedicated researcher all of a sudden is starting to pay off. Stuffing I should really mark you as, as researcher then instead of medical. Oh shit, and hydroponics. I didn't even think we had enough resources for that, but apparently we do. Hello, the dead drop. Right, so where is... This is it right here, huh? Is this a trap? Oh, God. I hope the Empire don't know. Hello. How are you? There it is. Our declassifier. Agent Grizzly Bear. Hand over the declassifier. This is inarguably an unkind thing to do. But if a little unkindness brings about so much more kindness and happiness and saves Christmas... Who are we to say no? 16 intel. Holy crap. We've kept our rebel cell safe and we've got some knowledge that hopefully we can put to work trying to stop Santa. Guns are it! Bloody gun turrets, thank you. I haven't got any resources. But gun turrets, and we also got some Christmas presents. In fact, Buttercup got some Christmas presents. Boy, I sure hope it's 5,000 steel. Open gift. I don't know where all the rest of your gifts got put. That was a bunch of meals. That's actually really nice. Hey, put that down. Put that down. That's for Buttercup, you little monster. You don't touch that. And, oh my god. I love meals. Thank you. <laughs> this is like actually going to keep us alive. Thank you for delivering the presents. I appreciate that one. Crack it open. Like, power armor would be nice, though. Merry Christmas, it's... Okay, nothing. Merry Christmas, it's cataphract armor. That would have been great. How desperate could you possibly be for a crumb of steel? There is a mining camp out there I've been keeping an eye on. 424 steel. Let us build hydroponics, but there are four people there. We'd have to send basically the whole squad just to guarantee that there were no... One of big pushbacks. We could potentially guerrilla warfare it and get away with maybe just cozy. Oh my god, even the front entrance is sunk. Why? Buttercup had more presents. No one else has got any today, so this this has to be Buttercups. A little bit more steel. Was that a handgun for Christmas? Hello. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> we keep getting quests to actually, like, further our cause. One Janissary, three troopers. We get 17 intel. With that, I could just buy power armor. Oh, send it. Send it. We can do it. We can do it. We've got to do it. We've got to do something to stop Santa. It's quite far away. Holy shit, that is quite far away. I was about to say, do we have enough food to head out there? But we just got packaged survival meals from our mysterious Christmas benefactor. Holy shit. Send our... Man, we're going to need our best for this one. General Cozy, General Sparkles. Bauble is our goddamn lethal killing machine with that hammer. Send the people with the charge cyclers too, because they actually might get through the armor. Send the, get, the, the grizzly bear for maybe moral support at this point. Oh my god, another one. Supply depot raid. Oh, this one's so much safer. Champion Janissary Trooper. Oh, for God's sake. 17 intel. We will do it. We will do it. I know it's increasing our visibility, but we haven't had any problems with that recently. Rocks? Oh, sandstone. I thought it was compacted steel then for a second. Giving them some time to rest up ahead of what is effectively our first ever anti-Santa raid. We're finally playing the Raiders. It's great. And we're, the, and we're the good guys. What a plot twist. I'm well aware I just downloaded someone's memories with a needle and caused their head to blow up. Okay, that's not the point. That's not the point. Sometimes you have to do bad things for the cause of good. There it is. Surveillance pillar. We can extract intel from it directly. Oh, cool. Along with, I presume, maybe that is the quest reward, or maybe we get both. Let's have a look. Oh, I like your banners. Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Striker turret. I will admit, I didn't really take into account turrets when I saw the when I saw the lineup. I don't want to destroy it if we can extract intel. Let's see what happens if I send you forwards, given that you've got a pretty all right shield. And we just go... Gr oh, God. Stuffing. What the fuck, my guy? Get back. Let's go grab some... Let's see, if, let's see what happens if I extract the intel from that then. Go, go, go. Does it, did it, does it destroy it? This seems horribly dangerous. <laughs> okay, it's a shit idea. Ah! Uh. Hey. 
That'll do it. That's what we like to see. Okay, let's move. Um, let's move General Sparkles forward. We've actually got some all right cover now. We need to patch up. Ah, uh, you know what? Leave, leave cozy and stuffing here. Let's get you patched up quickly. I'm gonna move Bauble actually around this corner, like between these doors. Because I imagine that's where the enemies are gonna pop out of in a second. Let's move you up a little bit more. Sparkles, let's bring you to like here, I suppose. Try and get you as accurate with those grenades as possible. We're, so, so in theory, we're missing out a little bit of intel, right? But that's okay. These things happen. We'll climb that and just, just walk in. Just walk in. Oh, shit. Where are the enemies? I thought you said there were enemies. One Janissary, three troopers. Where, though? This place is cool, though. Look at this. My God. I'm so nervous. Where are the... Oh, intel. Hello. I'm so nervous about where these troops supposedly are. Great shot there from Sparkles. Holy crap, big man. Attack this to destroy it. So, so can we just start extracting the intel then? Go, go, go. I think we're safe at this point, but I could very much be wrong. You're tended, right? You're good. You're not going to die on me. Get in here. Start extracting the intel. I see the problem. If we go in here and try and blow up the turrets, that's going to destroy all of this valuable intel surrounding it. We do have the Zeus hammer that can stun them, but I feel like that might just end up getting Bauble killed. This is what we call a big brain play. What if I just take the wall away and we hack it from the other side of the wall? <laughs> what if we just do that? Oh, okay. It was, it was a great great idea. It didn't quite work, though, huh? These are just going to blow up and take the whole thing out, though, aren't they? Oh, no. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, hold on. Cozy, you're a better shot. Bauble's fine, I think. Yeah, see, that was what I was concerned might happen. So another explosion will take that one out, but I don't think it'll reach to the end. So we're still going to get a good amount of intel by the looks of it, just not everything. We need to come up with ways to keep these things... Or to take these out without blowing the whole bloody thing up. But I don't think there's really a way to do that, is there? Even with the MPs. Oh, it wasn't that bad, to be fair. They're actually fine. Oh, sick. Okay, extracting the... I'm overthinking it. It's much easier than it looks. And then you come over here and crack open these supply crates. That armor skin gland. Oh, shit. Nuclear stomach. Oh, cool. Not that I would so quickly use that one, I will admit. And then we've got a Fletchling. Hello there. Modification of the extremely rare Fletcher rifle. Fletchling is a shotgun used by Imperial deserters. The mere possession of it can be seen as an act of war. Each Fletchling shot releases a small number of acidifier darts that may hit several targets, causing extreme amounts of pain and acid burns. That sounds really good for taking prisoners. So what does this thing do? So it's got an area of effect. Okay, so if we're detected, we'll increase the visibility of whichever faction has sent them. Can be disabled via an EMP or by simply cutting off the power grid. Can we even get that close to the power grid? We could we could break in here because behind a wall, they're not going to see us, right? So if we go around this corner, trust the system. If we go through here, crack this open, as long as Cozy doesn't just wander into it, come in here and take apart these batteries. That should work fine. Bruh. Well, never mind, I tried. <laughs> Where are these Janissaries? It said that we're going to be Janissaries here. Oh, shit, there's a turret. My bad. Oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Great shot. Legendary behavior. Well, let's get to extracting intel then. Boom. This is amazing. Great work, squad. That was textbook. We're going to take back whatever we can carry as well. We bought the bear as kind of a, a beast of burden, I suppose. Go, 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 go. Get that intel. Get that intel, squad. Oh, yeah, that'll piss the empire off. Oh! What the fuck did you just do? Are you joking? Christmas Carol went berserk, so... Sparkles, in response, decided to grenade them. Now you're psychically sensitive. Maybe it was the... Maybe it was the explosion in your brain. You fucking idiot. You better not have blown any... Oh! General Sparkles, that was unnecessary. So much for being kind. You genuinely almost just killed everybody. You monster. You absolute monster. Tend to stuffing quickly. Let's get this intel extracted. And then we destroy everything, I would assume. We are the worst rebels. We are the worst rebels anyone has ever seen. <laughs> We're so bad. We did more damage to ourselves in that run than the Empire did. Great, a really just amazing work. Right, okay, I think we're good. Should we just go ahead and smash the rest? Just, to, just for like a good show? So then we also got the 17 intel from... From the sleigh. I presume someone's always grabbed it and hauled it. Yeah, there we are. 34 in total now. We've got 16 from our hacking there. Let's take the components. I guess we'll fill up on... S oh, no, no. Hold on. We've got to take the nuclear stomach, the armor skin gland. Let's take the fletchling too. Don't really want to take any of this crap. Though the fire foam popper might come in handy, you know, for reasons. And then we'll go back. 
That was amazing. The champions return home. I mean, real round of applause to the one and only General Sparkles. He really held it down. I, I, I shit on that grenade launcher at the start, but my God, it's been useful, huh? Now we have 49 until someone's crashing. Hello, a torturer named Fest. Hello, my friend. That doesn't seem like a very kind thing to do. Rescue, but I don't think we want to torture adjoining our numbers, do we? We need to set up like a decoy base, like a dummy base, like a, like a, a hospitality style uh, uh, a little village outside made of gingerbread that no one will ever be suspicious of. We'll just have to kind of put up a, like, like a Disneyland fake wall around the enormous fortress. Don't look behind the curtain, you'll ruin the magic. Uh, the magic is, of course, domestic terrorism. And speaking of domestic terrorism, let's see what we can buy for all of our intel. Dessert armor is five critical. Dessert armor Dessert is one critical as well. Fair enough. I don't suppose there's any way we can trade regular for um, critical intel. That's got to be a quest only thing, right? So a neuroformer to get started with uh, side casting expanded will cost us three. We'll keep an eye out for that one. I could outfit the whole squad with charge rifles. Oh my god, that mission was so valuable. For a big brain play, all the armor is locked behind critical intel, right? So we can't just suddenly outfit our people with the best stuff going. Fair enough. I, I, I would love to buy some... Shit, maybe we just buy like the charge weaponry and send it? Like charge LMGs for the whole squad would be nuts. Open to suggestions on this. What, whatever people think might be the most valuable for us. I mean, obviously armor would be, but we can't do that. So I, I guess we'll go for weaponry then. We'll focus on maybe going for that research ourselves. I like how the base is forming. I really do. It's going to be very, very tight in here. Very, very close knit. We're going to have to use a lot of steel, I think, to bridge over the river and use that as usable building area. We can't go so fancy with the building. Shit like this, we're gonna have to put down some good bridges and block over and open this up into one big room that we can do stuff with. We need like big open rooms without much fucking around. Like this, it really all needs to be squared off. It's been a rough start and that was a difficult winter, but my God, did we redeem it up the end there, huh? Successful infiltration and hacking of an Imperial facility and now shitloads of intel to buy a whole bunch of upgrades for us. That is so damn nice. We got the hydroponics, of course. We got a new recruit in the form of the Grinch. We did lose Gumdrop. Never forget Gumdrop. And never forget the executive producer patrons. I am currently putting out, on average, 3.3 videos a day. It's a lot of work, so thank you to the patrons, of course, for allowing me the, um, I was gonna say the sanity to do that, but I think the opposite might be true. A big thank you to Dune, Snathro, Floofy Prawn, Mr. Scratch, Shadow1317, Holy Reapers, Christopher Peck, Matthew Capon, Smexy Grandpa, Mon Mon Rage, Beta Soldier, Space Drake, Esidus, Flexballs, Dark Desire, Emily, Bradso90, Kende Hajdu, Sweetsy, or Kansas, Drusus Tarsus, Magnus, Optimus, Maximus, Lapis Golem, Slighter, Gogolus, and Dr. Simba for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for giving me the the, the, the privilege to do whatever it is I, I do. Mainly just lose my mind on the internet for a few hours a day. Thank you as well to Ice Wolf Zero, Daniel Bauman, Subasa, Turana, Sondre, Fungu Wussy. Oh dear. Timbo Slice, J520,000, to Snarf, Citatus Lingua, Derpin8, Punky Roo, Rhino 3333, Merlin Kane, and Linus L. As well, goodbye. It's a great day to be a deserter. Fuck you, Santa.